Okay guys, to put it simply, I had to do this video. I've gotten so many requests. You see by the title, it's a requested video, but I can't put everyone who's requested its name in the in the description box because there's just too many have too many people and too many channels who have recorded who have requested this video. I can't even talk. So if you have requested this video, this is for you, and hopefully you'll be able to get the best recording quality out of Camtasia Studio 6. If you don't have it already, I highly suggest you get it. It is one of the best screen recorders you can get. So, um, basically, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy it, and I hope you learn a lot. So, um, enjoy this tutorial. Hello everybody and welcome to another HD tutorial and in this one I'll be showing you exactly how I get the highest quality out of the recordings that I do with Camtasia Studio 6. Um, you may have noticed from my past couple of videos, about my past dozen videos have actually been recorded using Camtasia Studio 6 and I've gotten a lot of requests lately about um, how I get such high quality and such good resolution when I actually record my videos. So when we're going to um, produce a video in Camtasia Studio 6 First of all, we have to make our video, so I'm not even going to do any editing. I'm just going to drag in my intro, okay, and my outro. Now, this first initial step that I'm doing right now won't actually happen with you, where you search and you choose YouTube 720p. So we're going to create this. So we're going under the Produce tab and go to Batch Production, and we're going to go to actually we're going to go to Add Files and Projects and just choose any uh, video that you actually want to produce in HD. I'll just choose the lake video right here, enter, and go to next. Now we go to preset manager. This is where we are going to create a new preset and this is going to be the preset we use for every single video that we produce in 720p. So I've actually got it already, I named it 720p, so I'm just going to go, go into edit for you so I can show you all the settings that I use and that you can copy them down and hopefully they'll work best for you. So first of all, the file, file format that we want to save it in is .mov. And if I haven't told you already, you're going to need QuickTime and I'll put the uh, QuickTime link in the description. But basically you're going to go to apple.com and make sure you have QuickTime so you can play these movies and use them. So next we're going to hit, just hit next and it'll bring us to the next step of publishing a video. Now this step here, QuickTime options, is the most important part. There's video settings and sound settings. First go to settings for video and you'll see my compression type is H.264. If it isn't all automatically, just go from the drop down menu and tick, tick H.264. Also this should be current. Actually no, this should be automatic. So I'm just going to click automatic and this should be 30 frames per second. Okay. If it isn't already, go ahead and tick it at 30 frames per second and that is basically it. Also you're going to want to make this 30 frames per second just to make sure the keyframes match up here and tick frame recording. Down here for the compressor go to best quality okay and I go for best quality multi-pass encoding. So that's where, that's basically what we're going to do for that so we hit OK. Then we're going to go into sound settings and we hit settings again and just make sure it is 4800 kilohertz if it isn't already make it MPEG-4 audio and 4800 kilohertz as well as 16-bit and stereo um, stereo works very well especially if you have two mics like I do then you'll get the best quality sound out of your uh, recording so hit OK for that and then we're going to hit OK and our settings are saved go to next and this is where um, we basically we need to make sure this is 1280 by 720 for the highest quality uploading to YouTube. Now if you are recording a say a 1900 by 1200 screen like I am, then you can set it to that but it will not translate completely to YouTube. The highest that you can actually watch on YouTube is 1280 by 720. If your screen is larger or smaller, then the background color will be this. So if you zoom out on your video like so, then you'll have uh, this particular background color in the background of your video if it's not in 16 by 9. So I'm going to, I'm not going to disable call out effects or zoom in pan speed reduce because I'm, I don't really mind the size of the video. It never gets too big for me to upload. Then I hit next. And that is basically all you have to do for the HD quality. Now if you do want to include a watermark like you may see at the top right hand corner of this page, just hit options. And I already showed you guys how to make a watermark. Now you can just choose how big or small, horizontal, anything you want about your watermark. And just get your watermark from clicking this um, little open icon here. So that's where you get it. And then you just hit finish when you're done. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to destroy anything. 
And now whenever you want to encode a video in HD, you would go to Produce, Produce Video As, and you select the 720p, the YouTube uh, HD format that you've just created. Just click on it, hit Next, name it, and I always like to uncheck um, the subfolders one, so it just gives me the one .mov file. Hit Next, and it begins to produce. So I'm going to hit Cancel because I don't want to just produce that random video. But that is basically it. So whenever you do upload my video to YouTube, just go check out my, uh, my uploading videos in HD tutorial if you like. And that will give you a better idea of how actually to upload the video and make sure you're uploading the HD video and not the original um, recording file. And that's basically it. So I, hope you, I helped you guys and um, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any other tutorial ideas for me or requests like this one, then go ahead and subscribe to my page and send me a message and I will get back to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.